Hello everybody, this is Insane Gaming, bringing you uh, the 6.18.2015 uh, Rust update, the dev blog 65, uh, and in this update, uh, farming. This is my uh, private, well not really private, public server, um, I'm an admin of course, you see me flying here. Um, the first thing uh, they added was a pumpkin, so hit E to harvest pumpkin, so I have a pumpkin. Oh, they got the... The graphics in uh, earlier they didn't have them, but now they do. So they have the graphics of the pumpkin, as you can see, and you can eat it. And it does 37 food, it looks like. And uh, whoops. And it looks like you can do it multiple times. Um, this is a fern bush, I'm pretty sure what it's called. Um, so yeah, that's the pumpkins. And over here, uh, of course, is corn. These take forever to grow. Um, but as usual, uh, the plants need water, heat, and sun to live. Um, the more they get, the faster they grow, and they hate being planted on rocks and snow, but they will grow, but it's really slow. Um, so, I'll eat some corn. Okay, they got the corn as well, nice. So you just eat, um, uh, I didn't look, so I don't know how much that did, but it gave you corn seeds so you can plant but I'll tell you this now, unless the uh, uh, the server owner or whatever uh, addressed it, it takes forever. That'll take like 30 minutes at least. These took a while. I yeah, it just takes forever. Okay, the next thing is let's take this off. This is the wolf headdress. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's just I don't. I think it's just like a hat basically. That's it. Um. It, um you can craft this uh, to begin with. You just need a hundred cloth and uh, one wolf skull. Sorry if I said that wrong or I said that funny. Did I say? Uh, the next thing they added was a boda bag. So it's just a freaking, uh, as it says, small water bottle. Um, and f whoa, fine. To fill that, you gotta do it through the water catchers. Um, they're working on it so that uh, you can get it out of streams and same thing take or give and you can just drink out of it as a wig or as a water bottle so that's that um i'll just look at the corn <laughs> they um um they also fixed um the i don't even know what these are uh, dedicated server text is yellow if running in debug mode. Uh, dedicated server console shows map name. Uh, added uh, depth of field option. Uh, terrain parallax works. Um, added SQ light. Uh, I don't know what some of these are. Uh, change mouse mouse input to use uh, get access raw. To fix the uh, floating buildings. So if you take out all the foundations, uh, the, the building will collapse. Um, they increase the decay rate. Um, I'm pretty sure just of uh, twigs and wood because I don't think uh, armor decays or stone. I don't think those decay. Um, they fix the hemp bush uh, from block blocking bullets. Um, uh, menus for music options, voice control. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> it changes spear because um, before you hold it backwards, uh, the pointy end was behind you instead of in front of you. So they fixed that. And they fixed the C4 directional damage bug. Um, one of the uh, create, uh, one of the peoples uh, are working on a female model for this. Um, not huge boobs is, is what this says. Um, or nor four inch waists. Um, another one fixed the glowing water during nighttime. Um, and um, they also finished, or uh, yeah, finished the shivering animation for when a player gets too cold. Um, they also finished the what it says, sexy new automatic, uh, semi-automatic pistol. Um, next uh, and he's also started working on a new helmet um, another guy um, uh, is uh, still working with the this um, like road sign armor like the stop signs and stuff 
um, the other guy uh, just finished the windmill and it'll come out when the electricity update hits. Um, he also is working on um, the sphere sphere uh, tank monument, which is uh, one of the players that like to like uh, a lot of people like to build on top of it because it's really hard to raid. Um, he's making the inside open, um, and he's making it harder to like defend it. Um, he's, he might uh, uh, put some crude oil in the bottom. Um, to like attract more people there and um, make it harder for people to defend. Um, they're also working on new uh, melee weapons. Um, they will be textured early next week and also have world models created. Um, I'm just gonna say the name. Megan um, worked on the new survey charge so like you can push it in the ground instead of just like throwing it um, so it's more realistic. Um, and Scott also suggested that instead of a fuse, it could actually work with C4. Um, and they're also working on uh, different, like, cooking and refrigerators. Oh, no, that's a wood smoker. Um, so, like, um, a worktop for different types of cooking, a uh, large fireplace that can be used for multiple different cooking setups, pot for stew and meats to go further, and then a meat smoker for cooking pre preservation uh, and then a wood smoker for cooking and meat uh, preservation. Um, and then all the icons here. Um, so the pumpkin, as I showed you, the that uh, corn, uh, the Boda bag, that here. I'm gonna get, oh, I can't, I uh, can uh, Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I can. So I'll get the corn seed and the pumpkin seed. So they also got the corn seeds and the pumpkin seeds. And then um, Paul finished, it looks like, uh, I don't know, finalizing uh, the wood armor. And uh, that looks like, hold on. Oh, they also uh, did a set of sounds for metal doors uh, and new sounds for the quarry and made some small updates to the bush, bush rustling sounds. And... Uh, Working on distant gunshots and a new generic way for a crossfade between different sounds based on how far away they are. But that probably won't make it in an update. I'd like to eventually use this things like only players the smaller trickle trickling water details on the river when you're really close to them. And then next week um, I'll be finishing the distant gunshots and starting on the last couple of animals that still need uh, sounds like the chicken which is freaking annoying. Gosh, those things are so annoying. So, that's it in this update. Um, not for, yeah, I don't think this, in my opinion, is not very much. Um, hopefully, uh, the electricity update hits soon. Um, that'd be nice. Because <laughs> I want electricity. Because um, I want the oil jack, because I think that'd be cool, and the windmill. And I wanted to get uh, the automated turrets, uh, like I uh, explained in the last uh, video, or rest update. Um, so, um, our, my base and stuff can get defended, because I spent about 20 hours, not on the server, on a different server building a base, and in about an hour, it was completely gone, because uh, the plugging for the removal tool. So I think that... That's good. Like I like the removal tool. Like if you play something wrong, but like if people can access it and just destroy your base, I think it's totally retarded. So that's just my opinion. Um, so thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> See you in the next video. Uh, insane gaming out.